Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be episode 14, if I'm not mistaken, of my sample Saturday. This is a bi-weekly uh, series that I'm doing, kind of a spin-off from the hashtag 365 days of samples. Um, and I am very excited because I am getting closer and closer to finishing all my samples. And I don't want to ever see a sample again. <laughs> uh, well, you know, not anytime soon, let's just say that. Um, Okay, so let's just jump straight to it. As of last, since last time, I finished uh, eight samples, and I'm just gonna show you guys what they are and if I like them. Uh, one that I didn't like, and I already knew that I didn't like it, is this Smashbox um, Photo Finish. But what is this? Primer. <laughs> um, I really used to like this primer, but I don't know. I just lately i really i've had samples of these um uh deluxe size samples and i just don't like them i just don't like any primer from the Sm smashbox photo finish line um so i would not purchase that again uh one that i do know that i like is this Too faced glitter glue now unfortunately this one kind of dried up you guys can see the the glue there but it's also dried up um but i really like this I was using this one mainly with my Bare Minerals Loose Pigment. It's really glittery and it really, the glitter really stuck to this and I didn't um, suffer from any like glitter falling out of my face. Usually um, with some glitter glues that I've tried before, I end up with glitter on my cheeks and stuff, but with this one, I, that did not, <laughs> with this one that did not happen. Um, I'm using one from e.l.f. that's really good, but I still think this is better than that one. So once I'm done with that one, this is the one I would repurchase. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot more expensive uh, compared to the e.l.f. one, but I think it's worth it. Then I used up this Glam Glow um, Flush Mod Brightening Treatment. This smells like oranges. I really did enjoy this one. Uh, you leave it on for at least 20 minutes. I think I left it on for 30 minutes, and then you rinse it off. Uh, I got one use out of it. Did I see that it brightened up my skin? Not really, but this is something I think I'd have to use multiple times um, to see uh, any, what do you call it, benefits from using this. Then I used a um, eye serum from Shiseido. This is the ultimate eye uh, serum. I've used a deluxe eye sample of this before multiple times. Sometimes they have them as uh, point parks at Sephora and I've picked, them, I've, I've picked one uh, several times and so I already knew that I liked this one. I really do enjoy it and I would purchase this uh, in the full size. Then I use this Tatcha Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. I really enjoyed this. Stephanie from the Daisy Girlie told me that this was um, one of her favorites and that she really enjoyed it and I can see why I really, really, really like this. Um, I'm considering purchasing the full size of this, but I'm, I, I didn't look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be kind of pricey but I think it's worth it. Really, really enjoyed it. Then I used up this Murad 3 Hydrate Moisturizer, Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. Oh, it's this one right here. Um, it was okay, it was a pretty generic moisturizer. I didn't notice that it did um, anything wonderful for my skin. I only got one use out of this, and I, honestly, it didn't feel like there was enough for my whole face. This thing was mainly full of air, so. And then I have two samples from the from L'Oreal. It's from the Age Perfect line. I have the eye treatment. It was okay. I've used better eye cream, so I wouldn't repurchase this. And I have the um, facial oil with sunscreen. And if you guys saw my latest haul video, I purchased the full size of this <laughs> because I liked it. Um, I was in need of a sunscreen for my face anyway, and I really enjoyed it, so I bought the full size, so that's this one. And the last thing that I used up was this little sample from Bare Minerals. It's the Bare Pro um, foundation powder foundation, and I used, um, I combined these two together to make my shade, and this one was my perfect shade right here in the center, and then these two colors I used as bronzer or slash contour. Um, because they were too dark for me. I really did enjoy this one. It wasn't um, very heavy or cakey uh, or powdery. I really enjoyed the coverage and I think I would consider purchasing the full size of this one as well. 
So that is what I finished and what I'm currently working on is this, um, these are two samples from e.l.f. One is from the mineral infused face primer. This is kind of like, it's very reminiscent of the Smashbox primer. So I'm like, uh, whatever about it. And then this one is the illuminating eye cream. It's kind of like in a green, like an aqua teal little tub right here. Uh, this has purified water, cucumber and green tea. And honestly, I don't think it does much and uh, not even like moisturizing wise for sure I don't think it has any anti-aging properties but moisturizing wise I don't think it does the best job I think it's too watery and it's very light and, and very watery I feel like it doesn't really sink into my skin um, it takes a while so um, I don't think I would re recommend this or purchase this in the full size so those are the two that I am working on and I have five here that I have untouched. Still the Kat Von D Locket Duo with the primer and the foundation I have not used. I don't know why it, this intimidates me. <laughs> I, I don't know why I keep putting it off, but I just need to get it over with and use it. And then I have two more primers. I have the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I've used many of these before and I know that I enjoy it. Then I have the Velvet Touch Primer from Japanesque never used anything from Japanesque. Then I have the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I know that I like the the um, oh, the other, I'm blanking out on the name, but the other backlight, oh, backlight priming filter, there you go, that's the one that I like, and this is the first light. Um, so I'm hoping that I will like this one. And then I have an Evening Facial Repair Serum for MD Solar Sciences that I have not used. So that's what I have left from the last two weeks. And dun, dun, dun. I only have eight samples here, so I'm gonna just pick all of them. Usually I pick 10, but that's it guys. These are the last samples. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. <laughs> so what do I have left here? Ah, ah. <laughs> I have another one from Smashbox, the primer. So, uh. And then I have a um, Foundation from La Mer. This is the skin color de La Mer. This is in the color Natural 22. So hopefully this will be close to me because it would be nice to try foundation from La Mer. Not that I would ever purchase it in the full size because I'm pretty sure it's going to be super expensive. Then I have, oof, I have another e.l.f. mineral infused face primer. Like the dupe for the Smashbox one. Oh, don't tell me this. Oh. <laughs> And then another one from L from that eye cream that I just said that I didn't really care for. Then I have a cleanser from First Aid Beauty. This is the just the face cleanser. Uh, I really don't like First Aid Beauty. It just seems too like medicinal for me because it doesn't have really scent. So I, I like scented stuff. And then I have an eye cream from Strybecton. This is the Intense Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles. This is going to be nice to use. Then I have a, what is this? Skin Smoothing Pore Perfector from Bobbi Brown. I've never tried anything from Bobbi Brown, skincare wise or makeup, I don't think. So that's gonna be nice to try. And then I have a three-step uh, power peel from Ulla Henriksen. I've used one of these before and I really enjoyed it. So I'm, I know for sure I'm gonna love this. So that's this one. And that's it guys. Those are the samples that I'm gonna be working on for the next two weeks. I think two more updates and this will be done because this has eight plus five, 13. This has 13, there's 13 samples in here. So I think maybe two weeks, I mean, two more updates and I'll be done with samples, hopefully for the rest of the year. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have used any of the samples that I have left over, please make sure that you let me know in the comments down below so I can know what to expect or any tips on how to use them are very well appreciated. And I will see you on my next video.